All right, we're gonna talk about a few really important key terms here. The first is whether or not a system is consistent. A system is consistent means that at least one solution exists. So in the xy plane, if we just have an x1, x2, that means that either we have one point, one solution, or we have a system in which they end up being the same line. They have infinitely many solutions, okay? So that's just an example. Um, if the system is consistent, then we say that the solution is unique if there is just one, okay? This would not be unique. Now, if the system is not consistent or inconsistent, that's going to be, so these are both consistent systems, okay? Inconsistent is when we had those parallel lines examples, okay? That's an inconsistent system. No solutions exist. This first example here, we ended up getting as a solution, this is the one we just did, negative one, zero, one. So this is a consistent system because it has at least one solution. And because it has only one solution, we say that it is a unique. So it exists and is unique. So consistent means that the, um, the solution exists. Okay, inconsistent, solution does not exist. And then if the solution exists, if it's consistent, is the solution unique? All right, let's look at another example here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this into matrix form. And as I'm putting this into matrix form, I'm analyzing whether or not I can go ahead and use a scalar to reduce any of these. I can't because they all have that right hand side here um, on these last two equal to one. However, I can use that row operation of switching rows. I always like for my row up here to have um, a number. And so I can do that by switching rows one and two. Perfect, okay. I now want to work here in row three and I'm gonna do that by taking negative two times row one and adding that to row three. I'm noticing what can I multiply row y1, row one by, excuse me, row one by, in order to then like get it to eliminate with row three. So if I take negative two, row one, add row three, that's what I'm gonna plug back into row three. So row one and row two remain unchanged. I know that I end up getting a zero here. Okay, negative two times three plus negative eight gives me a negative two. Negative two times two plus 12 gives me eight. And negative two times one plus one gives me negative one. All right, I'm gonna continue working down row three. And I'm going to do that by taking two, row two, and adding that to row three to get it into row three. Again, I'm not doing anything to rows one and two. I'm just changing row three. All right, if I take 
2 times 0 add to 0, nothing here. If I take 2 times 1 and add 2, I get 0. If I take 2 times negative 4 and add 8, I get 0. Uh-oh. If I take 2 times 8 and add 1, I get 15. So I get that 0, x1 plus 0, x2 plus 0, x3 has to give me an output of 15. But no matter what numbers I plug in, 0 times that number gives me 0 plus 0 plus 0. 0 is never equal to 15, so we call this inconsistent meaning a solution does not exist.